Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the ultimate review of the Realme Buds Air. So these are a pair of truly wireless earbuds launched by Realme. And I'm super excited to give you this review because there are so many things that I really like about these earphones and a few things that they can improve upon. So let's get straight into it. So in terms of specs, these truly wireless earbuds are rocking the Bluetooth version 5. So that means they have a far more stable and secure connection and far less energy consumption as well. Apart from this, the case itself is compatible with wireless key wireless chargers. So if you have any key wireless charger lying around in your house, regardless of which manufacturer it is, you can just place it on that and it's going to charge your case just fine. Now these two earbuds have a host of features of their own. Now Realme claims that it gives you a total of 17 hours of playback. Now there are a few uh, conditions apply which uh, are associated with this claim and is that you play the music at 50% volume and with the charging case included so a total of 17 hours when you you know finish the charge of the earbuds charge them again so one full charge of the case and then you use your earbuds so a total of 17 hours of playback now leaving that aside the most important specs are that it has a 12 millimeter driver packed inside and it has the r1 chip so the r1 chip is something that realme claims gives the Realme Buds Air a very secure, stable and speedy connection with your phone. Now, I can vouch for that because I have not owned any AirPods from Apple, especially because they are so expensive. So these unmistakably are for people who have not owned an AirPod in the past. These look almost identical to your, uh, the AirPods from Apple the features, their functionality are also almost identical. So for people who cannot shell out so much cash and for people who don't own iPhones, there is no point getting an AirPod if you can get this at a fraction of the price. So now let's talk about some of the features these earbuds offer. So to pair, you first press the button on the front of the case and then you flick it open. As soon as you do that, and you have your Bluetooth turned on on your phone, it shows up as Realme Buds Air. Tap it, it's paired. So in the future, each time you open the case, it connects instantly and the connection is pretty secure. So you can even use just one earbud. So say you just wanna make calls. So you take out one earbud, put it in your ear and it's gonna work just fine. And you can use all the touch sensitive functions that both of these earbuds offer. So speaking of the touch sensitive controls, now both earphones have identical functions so you can use either. When you're playing music, you double tap to play the music and double tap to pause it. You can long press on either of the earbuds and it'll summon the assistant. So for Android, Google Assistant, for Apple, iOS, and it works pretty smooth. Call quality was also pretty good. They have two microphones. So I actually asked people once, I, I didn't reveal to them that I was talking to them through the Realme Buds Air and they couldn't make out any difference from the phone I was using. So that means the voice was loud and clear. Now, when listen to music, triple tap is gonna take you to the next track. And if you get a call, if you double tap, it's gonna answer the call, double tap, it's gonna end the call. Now, Realme has something which they call a super low latency mode. So basically, when you press both of these earphones, long press both of these, it's gonna make a sound of an engine, a, a race car engine starting up and that means it's in gaming mode. So basically that reduces a lot of the latency. And they say that, I mean, there are reviews out there which say that it takes a hit on the sound quality. I do agree to it a tad bit, but this is only for if you're playing PUBG and you absolutely cannot afford any latency, it's useful then. Otherwise, I would suggest that you don't use the game uh, gameplay mode. So say you're in that mode, you want to turn it off. Again, long press on both the ear earbuds together. It's going to play a piano jingle and that means it's off. Again, you're back to normal. Now, even without the gameplay mode, when I'm listening to music or when I'm watching videos or movies on Netflix or Amazon Prime Video, there was absolutely no delay between the video and the audio. It was just fine. So in case you're worried that you have to use the gameplay mode, you don't have to. There was absolutely no latency and that was really impressive. Now these also have a proximity sensor built in. So 
on the earbuds, when you listen to music, so you're using both of the earbuds, as soon as you take one off, it automatically pauses the music. And once you place it back in, it plays the music again. This also works when you're watching videos on YouTube or say you're watching a video on Netflix or Amazon Prime, whichever. As soon as you take out the earbud, the video is gonna pause. As soon as you place it back in, it's gonna play. There is one thing you should know that because the sensor won't really know if it's in your ear, it's actually depending on the sensor to be uh, coming close in contact with something to know that it's actually in your ear. So basically, if you take out the earphone and the music or video is paused and you place the earbud on a surface and it covers the sensor, it's going to think it's in your ear and it's going to play the music or the video again. So just something you should keep in mind. And once you're done listening, you place the earbuds back in the case and it starts the case charge charging it and it disconnects from your phone. So really intuitive, really simple and I love these functionalities as it makes life really, really easy. Now let's talk about the sound quality, which is one of, I guess, one of the main factors which will also compel you to get this. Now sound quality, I wouldn't see was, I was blown away by it. So in terms of the highs, the mids and the lows, what I noticed was these earphones, first of all, you know these are not in-ear earphones, okay? They rest, well, kind of on or just in front of the ear canal. They don't go in like traditional in-ear earphones. So the passive noise cancellation is um, okay. It's not too great, but I'm, I'm not gonna say that a lot of outside noise comes in. It does block out a bit of it, but it's not as good of a seal as in your earbuds. Now, the first thing when you hear a song or music, what hits you is the mid frequency. So this is really mid heavy. The mids are like up front, really sharp up there. Vocals are really, really crisp. Then you have the highs, and sometimes the highs and mids kind of compete with each other. So I find that it's a bit, it's, it's bit mid-heavy. And then you have the bass or the low end. Now the low end wasn't very impressive. If you're a bass head, this is not for a bass head. I'm a bass head as well, but I also like good audio quality in general. But it won't really give you really punchy, hard-hitting bass. I'm not saying the bass is absent by no means. It's got a pleasant bass, but when you come from in your earbuds that you've used to this, you might find that the bass is lacking a bit in comparison. In general, vocals, if you're listening to songs, if you're listening to podcasts or interviews, it's excellent. With the low latency and the really hard, like very sharp mids, vocals sound good. Now, what I do miss is that the vocals sound a tad bit over sharpened, so it takes away the natural uh, depth or richness of the voice it's kind of on the sharper side but for general listening and once you factor in all the nifty features that these earbuds have I kind of for forgot about that part of the quality because there is so much there are so many advantages associated with realme buds air so but if audio quality is a factor this is something you should keep in mind out of five, I would give the audio quality a 3.2. So it's not really great. It's above average, mid heavy, over sharpened vocals and uh, moderate lows, but not bad. Now at max volume, which it gets very loud, uh, the mids kind of irritated my ears a bit because of the over sharpening and the bass does take a hit, gets a bit muddy. So keeping it to 80, 75 to 80% is just fine. So make sure that you find the right tuning there. So when you factor in the price, 4,000 bucks, when you factor in all the host of features, Bluetooth version 5, the more or less good battery life, and you always have the case, which is really light, really small, fits in the palm of your hand, you can just cover it completely, fits in your pocket, even the pocket within your pocket, the small pocket that you have, it will fit in there really small so it's really nice to have these earbuds instead of the neck band ones because i don't know i find these better now some of the cons with associated with this is that the case and the earbuds themselves are totally plastic and they are really really slippery so i've had times when i'm trying to take them out of the case and i've accidentally they've slipped out of my hand and fallen so just be careful really slippery but apart from that all in all, 
How would I rate the Realme Buds Air? Out of five, I would definitely give it a four. Price, functionality, and the bit above average sound quality taken all together and how fast the connection is, how seamless it is, the wireless charging case included, USB-C to charge the case itself in case you don't have a wireless charging case. Factoring in all those, the Realme Buds Air are definitely, definitely worth buying, especially if they are your first truly wireless earbuds that you're venturing into. So that's been it guys. I know it's been a long review, but I want to make it as detailed as possible. If I've missed out something, if you have any questions, definitely let me know in the comment section below. So this is officially going on sale on realme.com and Flipkart on 23rd December. So that is today. So make sure you check it out. I'll try to leave my affiliate links below. So if you like this review and if you do want to buy the Realme Buds Air, I would really appreciate if you use the link given in the description. It will help me run this channel and I can produce more content just for you guys. Thank you so much for stopping by. Hit like on the way out. Share this video with your friends and family. Subscribe to PRCast9. And as always, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Cheers.